dear customizers, welcome to Electric Solar Boat episode 7. In the last episode, we manufactured the control panel wooden stand. We also mounted the motor controller, reverse relay and manufactured custom aluminum heatsink to cool the motor controller. In this episode, we will build 3D printed control panel and manufacture all the necessary parts for it to work properly. Let's customize! We will begin with the manufacturing of the boat throttle control lever. I manufactured these three parts and I welded these two pieces together. Now using the lathe I can get it in the right dimension to finally weld it all together. Now I need to cut it here and here. Now I need to drill a hole for the control lever. This is the hole where the control lever will be screwed into. I just need to tap the thread. I had these bronze bushings I extracted from an old coping machine before. I just need to glue them in place. This is the steel pin that needs to be pressed in. This pin will be used for selecting rivers with the throttle lever. And here you can get a glimpse of how it will work. And now I just want to make sure that everything fits before I finish the 3D printed part. Everything looks good. And now I can finish this 3D printed part. First I'm using some car body filler to fill in the larger imperfections in the 3D printed part. After sanding it I am using spray filler to fill in some smaller imperfections that were left from the previous operation. The part is now ready for one final sanding. You can see all the imperfections that still need to be sanded out. And finally, the part is ready for spray painting. And now the assembly of the control panel can begin. I cut display protection from transparent polycarbonate. I sealed it with silicone, so it should prevent dust particles and water entering the display. 
these are some threaded inserts to mount the display to and yes I did also put some seal between the 3D printed part and the polycarbonate protective sheet. And now I'm mounting waterproof switches. It is time to make final assembly of the throttle control lever. This is the switch that will activate the reverse relay for going backwards. You can even see the switch contacts moving through the transparent polycarbonate. Installing the second gear that will move the speed control potentiometer. And using this switch I can lock the white gear to the axle just in perfect place to turn the potentiometer all the way. And here you can see the motion of the throttle lever while activating the reverse. Mounting some final pieces of the electronics. And now I just need to glue these protective covers for the throttle handle. This leaves just one more thing to do to finish this control panel. And this is control panel finished. I really hope you liked the video. At this time it would really help if you could share, like and subscribe. So share this video, like it and by doing so help this channel and help me in delivering even more interesting projects and even better videos for you. Stay customized.